guys welcome back to another video this one's going to be about how to make a really cool looking banner for your youtube channel or twitch but this one's going to be about the youtube banner so just follow along and we'll get it done okay, so for this first part you don't have to do this but this is a way to get a bunch of cool graphics for free so i'm gonna go to this video right here you can find it in the description below basically all you want to do is you want to go down to the description free download and just click the download button and it'll pop up like down here if you use Google Chrome so once it's finished you just want to drag it to your desktop like right here and it's a PSD file so that means you can edit it so I'm just going to drag this into Photopea and wait for it to load so everything's loaded and now what I want to do is I want to go up to filter or no image image canvas size and we're going to change that to 2560 by 423 and just hit OK. So now we got the banner size. So what we can do is just hide these layers by clicking the little I or you can delete them and then for the bottom, I'll just keep it just because I'm going to put a layer over it. So I'm going to go down to my rectangle tool, change the fill to black. And I'm just going to drag it all the way across the whole thing. So I'm going to delete the other layer that was below it as well. So now all we have is black. So there's social media icons like YouTube and Twitter and all that. There's sponsor icons. Oh, there we go. That one doesn't work though. Twitch panel icons. There's some team logos, like phase and stuff. Some color corrections for making your photo look cooler. There's some grunge effects, which we'll get to. There's a bunch of stuff. So we're going to first find a picture. That's what I always do. So I'm going to look up. I'm just going to look up like. <sighs> I hate to do it. Fortnite. I hate it. I hate Fortnite, but I can get a I did this before, so I'm just gonna do it. So there's a really cool background I found. So once you find it, you could just right click on it, copy image, go back to photo P and just hit control and V and um allow photo P. So oh crap. Here's the image. I'm just gonna go up to edit free transform so I can make it bigger. And you're going to see how bad the resolution looks. So you don't want to do that. So we're just going to delete that. You can save the photo if it does that. So if it ever starts to be pixelated, then you can either save it to your computer or you can open the image in a new tab and see it's still small. So maybe that's a bad image. I'm going to try to find one that isn't awful. I don't really care. Let's see. I'm just going to get this one. This one looks okay. I'm just going to copy that image, bring it back. That's a little bit better. I'm just gonna make it bigger though. Edit, free transform, and drag. Or if you hold shift, um, or if you don't, if you hold shift, you can make it get bigger evenly. All right, hit the little check mark. And now we got our background. So I kinda want to get some kind of character to go in it. So I'm gonna look up like a, a Fortnite character PNG. I'm just going to find something, you know, this looks, he looks pretty cool. So I'm going to bring him back into photo P. Boom. Here he is. He's a little too big though. So I'm going to go up to edit free transform. Make him a, uh... I'm going to zoom in real quick. I can see better. So let's just say that works I want to kind of blend them better because he's like black and red and the backgrounds like a bunch of different colors so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to blur the background a bit so I'm gonna go up to filter blur this blur <laughs> I said it wrong last time I don't remember what it was though and I'm going to change it to mm, probably about 2.2 
looks pretty good. So, okay, we'll do that. And now it's still kind of off. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to go to gradient overlay and I'm going to change the gradient color to a red and I guess we could do like an or yellowish or something. And we're going to change the blend mode to multiply. And we can just turn the opacity down on it if we want. It doesn't look very good. So I'm going to change the yellow part to white. So it's like red around. And you can also try different ones like color burn, screen, whatever you want to do. Sometimes others look better. But multiply usually works out pretty good for me. You can change the scale of it. I think that's pretty cool actually. So now that we got him here, I'm going to click on the layer of him and go up to edit or actually no image adjustments, brightness and contrast. I'm going to turn up the brightness on him a little bit and the contrast. And I'm going to go back up to image and do adjustments, vibrance. I'm going to do the same thing for the background. So same thing I did before, except not as much on the saturation. So I'm going to make that zero or one. Okay. So it's looking a little bit better. We could do some color corrections now if we want. For some reason it's kind of, oh, there we go. So I'm going to disable the image. Where is it? Where's the image? There it is. Okay. So you can see barely, but it changes what it looks like. Like this, this one's pretty cool. I dig this one for sure. But then there's also, this one's pretty cool. Dang. Honestly. Ooh. Both of them together. <laughs> All right, we'll do that. So. That looks pretty sick. So we're just going to close this one. We can add some grunge if we really wanted to. Now, where is it at though? Where's the grunge? I'm going to go to file edit after I selected the file transform. After I selected the folder, I'm not moving all of them. Okay. You know what? Let's not do grunge. What else are we going to do? We could do some particles for sure. Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? They're like, oh, because the layer is in front of us. We're going to move this background layer like all the way down to the bottom. So everything's in front of it. Not supposed to be in there. There. So you can see the particle effects. Now they're showing up. So we're just going to enable all these, right? But I'm going to go in. And change all the colors to red. Whoa. Okay. So it seems like some of these are solid colors. So you don't want to do that. You want to go to the ones that are transparent all the way through. Like these two. Because they won't have a red box around it. I'm just going to turn the color red. And I'm going to edit free transform. Move them around a little bit. That's kind of cool. What else are we doing? We can add some more. Not that one. So how you know is if it's like a black box and you change the color, it's not going to work. But if it's like completely transparent, like right here, you're good. So, all right. There's that. I'm going to close this one. Flares. So these are some pretty cool ones. You can like. I don't know, wherever you want to put it. But I'm not going to use that one. I might use this one. And change it to red or something. Eh, maybe not. It's kind of cool as is. Uh, 
like that. It kind of gives it a cool look to it. So we can turn the opacity down though if we don't want it to be as strong. And we can turn it back to red since we're turning the opacity down. So it's just little details. All you gotta do to make some cool looking designs is just layer a bunch. So just like add tons of stuff, but make it not too much where it looks bad. I'm gonna move this pack up a little bit, the lightning. Yeah, like these lightning effects are like really sick and you could change the color if you do color and change it to maybe multiply. Nah, that's kind of cool. So screen, I guess works the best for these. I can rotate it. You know, I don't think I'm going to use that one actually. So it's a lot of experimenting. That's a lot of what you got to do. Here's some cool lightning. Try to put it like behind them. Like there's a lot of cool ones in this pack. I like this pack a lot. So I'm just going to keep layering until it looks good. I, here's what I can do. I'm going to go back to the background layer because I don't like that color up top. So I'm going to go back to the gradient, change this to red too. Maybe like a, a darker red. Or maybe a lighter red. All I know is I want red. Yeah, so something like that. Some smoke. Again, you just got to experiment a lot until you find something that works good for you. But the process isn't hard. It's just finding something that works well together is the hard part, I'd say. I'm going to, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the character. I'm going to find where he's at. If I can find him. I think he ran away. So there he is. I'm going to create a mask over him. So go down here to this little add raster mask. And now if I go to my brush tool and turn the fill to black, I'm also going to make the size bigger. Oh gosh, no. Bad idea. The opacity, definitely got to turn that down. You're trying to like, I'm trying to like blend them in more with the background. But you see here, this little like cut straight through it. That's the lightning. And that's why you got or the smoke. That's why you got to be careful. So look, that's pretty sick. I kind of faded him with it, which is really nice. So we're going to close the lightning, close the smoke fonts. So this one has some pretty cool or no layer styles. Yeah, there's some really sick layer styles in this one. I think it's going to lag for a second. Yes. Yeah, so you can see all these kinds of fonts. That look really sick. And it's all about finding what you want to do. So I think I'm going to go with the champion one, which is the orange and red one. So I'm going to close or disable all these I don't want. Except for champion. That's what I want. So the reason it gets, to, it changes to a different font is because you don't have that font. So you just got to find one that you like and go with it. Like you could choose, I don't know. You just got to try finding something that matches the one 
that you had. Like, this one was a pretty thick one. And, you know, we like thick here on this channel. Especially when it comes to graphic design. But, you know, you just gotta find one that works good for you. This one, maybe? Yeah, that's not bad. I'm gonna make it bigger, though. Maybe, I'll change it a little bit. It doesn't really match. It needs to be, like, thick and rounded. Like this, yes. That's good. This might even be the one that I had before. Probably not, though. So, there's that. You can see it's kind of empty on the right. Like, we kind of want to get some more lightning in there. Or whatever we can do. What are these? There's some background stocks. Oh, explosions and debris. I'm going to move this all the way up. Just so we can see them. So there's some pretty okay ones. Except, probably not going to use these. Maybe I'll use this one. No, I can't use that one. I was thinking about using this one, and I'll show you why. So I'm going to move that right in the center, and then I'm going to move it below the text layer. Okay, you see what I'm doing? So, I'm just trying to make it. I'm going to blend it a little bit. I'm going to see what happens when I try blending it like I did before. I'm going to get my brush. Hmm. Nah, that's not good. So what we can do is we can just turn the opacity down. Or heck, we can even have it up. But make the text layer. Have a drop shadow. That's oh, it already has one. Okay. We need to make it bigger. Heck, you could even get rid of the background and just have black, and then like do other stuff. It looks better with the background though. Like it looks kind of crazy right now, but um. You gotta work with it. You know, you, you can tweak it and stuff. This is just a little example on how to make... Make something, you know. Because I'm sure you guys are wondering how to do it. And this is a one way. I hope this helped you guys. It's kind of a long video. If you got anything from this, that's great. And if you didn't, I'm sorry. But I think that's gonna conclude it. 